Hey everyone. So it's been a minute since I was in college and I wanted to share some thoughts since I know school's almost over for a lot of people, you know, summer's coming up and maybe you're about to go to college or maybe you're just in for a, a big life shift is coming up. So I just wanted to share some thoughts. So when I was in high school, I was pretty introverted. I still am. But when I was not with my friends or people that I was comfortable around, I was pretty quiet. So when college came around and I knew that I was going to be meeting a bunch of new people, uh, new experiences, being independent, I was kind of scared. I mean, ultimately I was fine. You know, I just went and I did it. But initially it was kind of a barrier to break through, you know? I just didn't really want to leave my comfort zone. But when I got to college, I promised myself that I wasn't just going to be you know, a little hermit, never talk to anyone, never try anything. Like I knew I had to kind of put myself out there. So I'll give you an example. It was the first or second day of me being at college. And you know, the first few days were just very structured series of orientation events. And so I was at one of the events. We were all being shuffled in, into this room. And so I got to my table, you know, the orientation was in this big room. There were dozens of these big round tables. And so you just find a seat. And I was the first one, first person to sit at one of these tables. You know, no one else was there yet. And as people started to trickle in, a few people started to sit at my table one by one. And I don't really know why I did this, but every time someone sat down, I just shook their hand and I said, Hey, like, what's your name? Where are you from? Something like that. And I bet a good few of them were like, who is this weirdo trying to shake my hand and talk to me? Because I looked around and there were definitely other tables where all the other people were just sitting by themselves, just kind of tapping their feet, waiting for the event to start. And I feel like that's honestly more awkward than an initial introduction and just kind of breaking the ice, you know, but because one of the guys I introduced myself to ended up talking to me for a couple of minutes. And, you know, we talked about games we liked, we talked about where we're from, that kind of thing. And then the orientation started and we just went our separate ways. But my point in telling you that is that I deliberately made sure that when I went to college, I tried stuff, you know, I put myself out there and I did things that I wouldn't normally do or things that I inherently was uncomfortable with because I knew that there might be something to get out of it. And I ended up having such a good time. You know, I had a great friend group in my dorm, you know, to the dining hall with the boys playing cards against humanity until like three in the morning. And it was awesome. And I think a large part of that was we mutually understood my friends and I, that we just had to get out there and have fun. Cause we all probably had the same idea when we got to college, like, Oh, I don't know anyone. I don't know if this is going to, be fun but you know we just did it you know i brought my gaming laptop to school because i wanted to be able to play games and chill in my dorm you know unwind i barely ever used it i mean at least for gaming i used it for school but i was never in my room basically ever just playing games you know and i'm not trying to say that you should never game or hang out in your room like that of course not i i did that in college and i still love doing it but my point is that if you have the opportunity to go out and experience something might be worth giving it a try you know like i went to a couple of parties never thought i would ever do that that was definitely not me in high school and it was a lot of fun and i do want to acknowledge that not everyone's experience is going to be the same you know sometimes you get screwed with a super awful roommate or you hate what you what major you chose to study stuff like that and i get that and i hope that doesn't happen to you you know pick your roommates well man like do not go random i promise you it is much better to pick someone beforehand and talk to them. But here's the thing about college. For one, it's the last time you're probably ever going to be around that many people your age ever again. And two, it's a really good opportunity to reinvent yourself. I was fortunate in that basically no one from my high school went to my college. So I didn't really have to worry about anyone like running into people and reliving that shared history. You know, I could just be my own person, make new friends, new experiences, and see things that I'd never been exposed to before. And I think it's important to note that not everyone goes to college. I get that. You might not want to go to college or maybe it's too expensive. I definitely get that. Maybe you want to do a different career path and just start working. And hey, I think that's awesome. Everyone has a different path and there's not going to be one best way to do it. I'm just giving you my experience with college and how it put me in an environment that was very conducive to trying new things that I wouldn't normally consider, right? Here's probably the best example of that for me. On probably the third day or fourth day of college, I was with my friends at my dorm. You know, I had started to make some connections and I was hanging out with them. And a few of them were talking about this party they were going to go to. And I was just chilling, standing there. And I, I didn't want to seem too eager or anything. But in my mind, I was like, ooh, party, that sounds fun. I, I was never in that crowd, like I said, in high school. But 
I was secretly hoping that someone would ask me if I wanted to go. But then one of the girls asked me like, Hey, you want to join us? And I was like, sure. <laughs> you know, like, why not? So later that night, we all got a ride from one of the um, brothers because it was a frat party. I later found out one of the frat brothers and we went and I was like, okay, it's like the third day of me being here and I'm in a car going to a frat party. <laughs> like what? Because <laughs> I said I, I, that was never something that I thought I would try going into college, but I just took a chance on it and I just put myself out there and I went and I remember walking in to the party being really nervous. Like, what should I expect? Like, I've, I've heard of frat parties in, in the movies and from other people. Like, I don't know what this is going to be like, but I just went in and I met one of the brothers. I distinctly running into one of the brothers and he, he was talking to my friend group and he's like, Hey man, don't worry about drinking. You don't have to like try anything. Just have a good time. And I was like, Oh, that's a, I didn't expect that. Like I, I kind of had this veil of judgment of like, Oh, this is going to be like, hazing central it's gonna be such a mess but like no he's like no dude pretty chill in here if you want to just hang out go for it i was like okay and i remember talking to that one brother for what felt like hours because we had a lot in common we both liked games we were talking about strategy games and i was like what i would never expect that last place i would expect to ever find that but it was awesome so that's a bit of a digression but i think it's important to keep in mind that if you are fortunate enough to be able to go to college that you don't pass judgments and just absorb the moment, you know, ex enjoy the experience. I would love to be able to go back and do it again, honestly, not the classes part, God no, but to be around people my age, experiencing the same things and being able to share in that camaraderie, that's really special. Who knows, you might make some lifelong friends out of it. And if you don't, that's fine too. You know, it's just a time to grow up, to be away from your parents, to experience new cultures and people. I think it's all gonna be worth it. All right, guys. I'll catch you later.